is written that faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. But long before Zakayo Jaguna heard the word of God or anything else, he had the kind of faith that could open doors to a miracle. Here's his story. It is a quiet day in Najoro village and a hot one as well. The chirping of birds fills the air along with the lazy rhythm of cow's hoofs and the distant rumble of a tractor engine. To us, these are but familiar sounds. But to Zakayo Jaguna, they are a symphony. For 40 long years, Zakayo Jaguna's days were not just quiet, they were silent. While still a baby, it was discovered that he was completely deaf and throughout his life was unable to talk as well. Then one night, a caring neighbor took him to a Reinhard Bonka meeting, and things have never quite been the same since. She's not the mother. No boy. No boy. But she knows this man. No. No. Hey, 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 hey. What was wrong with him? He, he could not hear. She couldn't hear. He was dumb. He was not He was dumb. People came to our to our home here, and they told us they have seen Jugu and Juguna over the television, and they heard him speak, and he was hearing. Hold my microphone. Hold my microphone. <laughs> I heard him speak. He spoke. And he continued speaking and speaking. And the Christians who were there came, surrounded him. And, and we all held him and made our way to the platform. When I discovered that Jogona is healed, I jump and said, Praise the Lord Jesus, hallelujah. 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 In the months that followed the miracle, life in this small village has drifted back to normal. But for Zakayo Jaguna, it has been anything but business as usual. He has learned to read and to talk. And although his diction is still a bit slurred, 
our interpreter was able to understand his Kikuyu easily. Once translated, Zakayo's testimony proved to be as touching as the miracle that produced it. Zakayo says that for many years he has suffered. He couldn't hear, he couldn't talk, and for all this time he lived in a cell of his own. But now he says that, uh, you know, he took many drugs and could not be cured. He was given many injections in the hospital but didn't help at all. But when he went to the great gospel crusade, he received only the word of God and God touched him and changed his life, opened his ears, opened his tongue and healed his stomach which troubled him for many years. In addition to his farming, Zakayo continues to earn a living as a local tailor. But to the village children, Zakayo Jaguna commands much more awe than a basic workman. He is, after all, a walking miracle. Many others in the area have also been touched by Zakayo's life, including Dr. Ben Sadala, who first examined him in Nakuru. Well, when I saw Zakayo, as a Christian, I knew that definitely something supernatural, beyond our understanding, had occurred. I knew that he, wanted, he had something to tell us, which was really um, new to him, which was some, something which was, he was bursting, he wanted to tell us. And when he, did, when he, when he actually told us, when, we go, when he got a testimony, I could see why he was so happy and so radiant and full of joy. I could hardly restrain him, really, at that time. Well, as a doctor, I had to test. I, I had to test to see whether what happened was actually could be medically accepted. I did this, and as a doctor, I could say that, I could say that, that man was no longer uh, deaf. Although he had no language to express his uh, new, new life, new uh, recovery, uh, full recovery. But he could hear things behind his back, respond to them, could uh, nod his head in, towards the music in the speakers and so on. So uh, I've no doubt. We reconfirmed Dr. Yes, Sadala's findings seven months later and indeed found that the miracle had held. But even a doubting Thomas would have no questions left after seeing Zakayo Jaguna's prized possession, this transistor radio. Yeah. Zakayo Jaguna, a man who gives the phrase music to one's ears new meaning. Zakayo! He answered, he must hear me. Truly here.